hello everyone and welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today how was your day i would love to know mine was great so please tell me in my comment section and if you're just seeing this pretty face today <laughs> my name is victoria Zelibe and welcome to my channel i'm telling you only good things await you in this channel so on today's episode i am going to be addressing two questions just two. two two questions i'm going to tell you what i know about that question and i'm definitely going to be sincere so if you're interested don't go anywhere Yo, i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'm gonna do it off for you come along and see it's true but the world is pretty cold you might need a sweater too i'm gonna put a ride on you get from california trying to make it a life a school that never <sighs> you guys nala will not let me video in peace can you say hi look say hi okay bye so my two <laughs> questions today are how do you stay motivated and two can you cook nice questions i think i should start with the can you cook questions so that we can get comfortable me to open up to you and you to enjoy so let's start with the can you cook question can i cook what do you think do you think i can cook well i believe i can cook in fact i love food anybody that sees me would know that this girl loves food <laughs> just to prove myself to you i think we should go to my kitchen and make something nice something simple yet nice let's go okay this covering of this lens thing with my hands really doesn't work for me i was trying to bring in another scene but anyway you know what i'm trying to do so let's go to the kitchen not all glammed up but let's go and cook so this is me and what i look like in the kitchen no makeup i'm trying with my small lighting now this is when you can call me chidima and my native name for breakfast i'll be showing you a little thing i came up with no i actually didn't come up with it alone i don't want to take the credit alone it was myself and my friend cassie we we're talking about it and then she's like i just want to do this and do this and mix it together and, but i decided to add something else to it plantain i am a plantain lover so let's just go right into the beginning i'm already talking too much again i'll be showing you how i make my sweet and sour stir fry potato i just came up with onion but anyway that's what i'll be making but gone are the days where we have to copy people's recipe if you know how to cook, create your own. And if you don't know how to cook, still create your own. Everybody can cook. As I say, ratatouille or ratatouille, whatever they call it. Okay, so this is everything I would need for my sweet and sour stir fry potato. Of course, my vegetable oil, curry powder, thyme leaf, chicken flavor, boiling powder, salt to taste, and of course, my nicely cut vegetables, carrot, green, and red bell pepper onion, onion pepper, tomatoes plantain and of course my already avoid potato I hope you enjoyed the little meal I made. What's your excuse? Because I believe anybody can cook and everybody can cook. As funny and as basic this might sound, I only do three things to keep myself motivated. I do just three simple things to stay motivated. And these things are the first thing I try to do is I stay encouraged. This is me basically just doing the things that make me happy and listening to the things that keep me happy. 
I listen to things like motivational podcasts. I read motivational books. And my favorite thing to do is to read the Bible. If you don't know, the Bible has the answer to every question and whatever emotions we might be feeling. So if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling confused, anxious, angry, what is it? The Bible has a verse for that particular way you're feeling. That helped me to stop being scared of the unknown and stop pressuring myself. I learned to take risks. And some of the times where I've taken those risks and it didn't work out for me, I didn't feel bad. In fact, there's been times where I started two businesses in the past and believe me, none of it went well. I just simply told myself, this is an experience. Use it in your next adventure in starting a business. That was what I told my mind. I think the first business I started was a sneaker business back in London. I don't know if some of you remember. And the second business I did was hair business in Nigeria. And that did not work out at all. In fact, that one did not work out from the beginning. <laughs> as much as I felt bad, I think most people didn't even know about it because I didn't let it rub off on me. I didn't stop it. I didn't let it stop me from taking my next step in becoming a better person. I didn't let that hinder me at all. And I stopped comparing myself with other people. I don't compare myself with anybody. If I'm looking up to someone, I am looking up to that person because that person's career path is in align with my goal or I see myself becoming someone similar in the nearest future. thing I did was I started making good choices and good decisions for myself. Now, by making good decisions, I learned how to say no to the things that are not beneficial to me. And I start saying yes to the things that are in accord with my goals. Now, I, don't, I do not ever make decisions on my own. I do not ever make these choices and decisions on my own. I always ask my most trusted friends and family for their opinion. And I always pray for his direction and guidance. In whatever choice and decision I have to make final thing I do is to have faith and believe my motto every time even on my Instagram I think it's been there since I created that account is in God I trust most of my friends don't even understand my movements because they're like how are you sure it's going to work out for you if I, my sister especially every time I'm probably taking this step to travel and I'm like I don't want any negativity. I believe that God will do it for me and I believe he has done it for me. That is that's my belief. That is what I always work with. None of my friends can understand my movement. Now it's always that works for you. But me, I always like to plan myself and do this and do that. It's not like I don't plan myself. I do, but every plan I make, I don't make it alone. I do it with God. If you understand what I mean. Me believing in God is my faith speaking. And faith, believe it or not, faith only comes by listening to the word of God. For instance, when I started this, my YouTube, like I said, I procrastinated for three years. <laughs> I finally, just one day, decided I am going to do this. I did my makeup and I shot my first YouTube video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go and do that. I think is somewhere here or here. I don't know how that thing works, but that suggestion should be up here or here. <laughs> okay. What I do while waiting for God to manifest my testimonies. I always pray to silence the doubts. I don't want anything saying what if or what if this doesn't happen. What if no? I pray to silence that doubt. I always pray to thank God for answered prayers. I always thank him. I'm always like, ah, God, thank you for doing this. I know that in no time, my testimonies will be manifested in my life. I always say that prayer. That is my go-to prayer. Every time I am thanking God, because whilst I ask him, I believe he's going to do it. I sow seeds when I can. I sow seeds when I can and wherever I can. It's good to sow seeds while waiting. 
And one thing I believe everyone should understand, one thing I understand is the waiting period is never easy. Never easy, so we, we have to be patient. I am always patient, waiting is never easy, but the one thing I always have at the back of my mind is my time does not matter. Be it 10 years or five years, it never matters. God's time is all that matters. His time in our life is what counts. Two years means nothing to God. Two years is probably two hours to God. And honestly speaking from experience, that is when I appreciate it the most. When that time he answers my prayer, that time he's doing it in his own time, that time that whatever I've prayed for has occurred in my life. If you know how much I appreciate it then, have you ever been waiting for something and it finally comes and you are like, oh my God, this was worth the wait. That is how it always feels. Now, let me know what you thought about my video. Let me know if this was inspirational to you. Let me know if this was a push. Let me know what you think about my video. And let me know how you stay motivated. Write everything and leave it for me in the comment section. You know my comment section, I like it. It's very interactive. So let's do that. And until next time, bye.